This morning I heard a good case. It has been reported that cohabitating couples were nearly eight times more likely to separate due to conflict than married couples in the first year of their relationship. I met a couple today on the verge of separation and they face their issues in divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Laura Quezada and Gregory Rodriguez. The two of you have been together for two years, living together for one, and you have a 10-month-old together. Ms. Quezada, you don't want to be together anymore. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Your Honor, I've been with Greg for a little bit over two years, and, you know, he's very disrespectful to our relationship. Like, he talks to other women on social media and meets women and doesn't ever reveal that we're in a relationship. Do you think he's actually cheated on you? I think he's cheated on me while I was pregnant. Not true. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not true. Mr. Whenever... Rodriguez, uh, has she ever uh, intimated before that she believes that you cheated on her while well, she was pregnant? First of all, we weren't together while we were pregnant. She, um, she... we ended up going to counseling, like, try to help our relationship more, but, um, like, during like one of our sessions, I went in there and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about like how I really feel," and I did, and it really helped me, and I felt really good about it. Now, like for a moment there, I was like, "Oh, this might work." And then, as soon as we left, she texted me like, "Hey, we're, we're not together okay, anymore." Okay, and you got to say what you needed to say. Did she get to say what she needed to say? She did, but did you hear it? No. What was it? I don't, I don't remember. See, the whole thing <clears throat> about counseling, it's not just unburdening yourself, it's also hearing the other person in a safe environment so you can understand their needs. So while you felt better, she didn't, which is why she put you out, okay? So did you have sex with somebody else while she was pregnant? Um, Whether or not it's cheating, we'll, we'll label that later. No, I never had sex with anybody. I did talk to other females, uh -huh. um, but that's because I was feeling good, you know? Like, when she broke up with me, that really boosted my motivation. Like, oh, I'm gonna work on myself. I'm gonna start running more. Um, and it did work. I felt better about myself. I feel like I'm really cute. Um, you think I, you're really cute? I feel, I feel girls, like, because I don't go out there and look for girls. Like, girls, they come, they come up to me, and they so talk to me. So while she was, you guys were not together while she was pregnant, Most right? Most of the pregnancy. Yeah. She was gaining baby weight, you were getting thinner. Exactly. Yes. You were working out, the women were liking you, and you were feeling really good. And were you concerned at all about her well-being Nope. Being that she was carrying your baby. Nope. I was, but she was very aggressive mm -mm. during that time. Like everything bugged her. Like sometimes um I go there to doctor appointments and um she'll leave me stranded. She'll like just, you know, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll drop you off the train station. I'll be like, what? Mm -hmm. Was he going to the doctor's appointments with you, which is huge. But okay, but we were already broken up at the moment. And when we went to the doctor appointment, Greg was doing nothing but why are they taking so long? Why are they? We were at the hospital one time and we were getting an ultrasound and they said there might be something wrong with our kid. And he was complaining the whole time, why are they taking so long? And I would be like, Greg, if they're taking so long, there's something wrong. And he, he was not concerned about that. All he was concerned was about leaving. Were you impatient? I was impatient. Um, they were pretty much talking about um, basic stuff, basic concerns. Um, like, I have other kids, I, you know, I've been mm -hmm. through it, and it's like, oh, I heard this before, so I like, just wait till you have the baby, you know? I've heard this before, yeah. and I hear this all the time. So you're not concerned specific, because each kid is different. Exactly. Each kid could have a different problem or different complications. You weren't concerned that this child might have some complication that they were trying I was, to I was concerned. figure out? Um, I just wasn't expressing it the way she wanted me to express it. Like, I, I didn't, like, go on my knees and start crying. You know, I have hope. I had faith. You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, my kids, no, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, but there's a difference between having hope and faith and getting on your knees and, man, is it taking too long? Or there's, a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of emotional space between being impatient and that. I mean, couldn't you show her some basic concern? I went with her, like, wasn't that, like, enough? <laughs> no, but, if you're going no. and you're being an irritant, no! No, it's, it bugged me. It bugged me because I'm sitting there being patient. I don't want to be there. And it was on my birthday, too. Like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I, like, I didn't go to my birthday party. Like, I missed it. Oh, my God. You know, like, I spent the day with her. Like, That's the whole little day. boy concerns. <laughs> if you're making baby, you don't get to have little boy concerns. 
It's yeah. a very difficult thing being pregnant. You know, watching pregnant is not so hard, but, but like, being I'll, pregnant is. Like, I didn't ask, ask her to get pregnant. Like, she, uh, she got, I feel like. I always look over at Joe and he's like, he's killing himself, he's killing himself. What do you mean? But you got her pregnant. Yeah, but like, I feel like she got pregnant on, on purpose. purpose. I feel like she was trying to trap me. Explain that to me. Why do you feel that she got pregnant on purpose? Because um, when we started like sleeping around, like, Sleeping around. Or like, it was only like two months that we were together. And like, it was like right after like a few were times. You, were you taking any precautions and to, to preclude pregnancy? No, I thought she was. Did you have any discussion? Huh? Uh, did you have any discussion with her about contraception? I told her like, I do not want to have no more kids. And she said like, don't worry about it. You know, like to this day, like she doesn't want to, she doesn't want me to use protection. Like I feel like I'm like falling into a hole. Miss Kazada, please tell me that's not true. No, it is true because I know that I'm taking care of myself and I'm using birth control. Well, what happened there, Miss? I'm not really good at using pills. Um, do you forget to take them or they just don't work I, for you? I forget to take them. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you know you forget to take pills, why wouldn't you but let you, him use uh, no, protection? Your Honor, he didn't have a condom with him that day. Like, we, the first thing then we Then tell him to go no. and come back tomorrow. Like, <laughs> no, that's fine. We had, that's okay. We had, um, the, we only had sex twice when I got pregnant. And the first time we had sex, he had a condom with him and whatever. It was good. It's cool. But the second time, like, you knew you were going to have sex with me. He knew because it was already something planned. He wanted to have sex before we went yeah. to the event that we, we went to. We had sex in the car. And then if he knew, you turn around to him and say, where's the condom? He says, I don't have one. You said, well, you get out the car and go get one because I don't want to get pregnant. And it's not about, it's not, you know what I mean? Come on. But you got to be in charge of yourself. Okay, that's fine. But I wasn't, I was, I don't have an issue with me having my child. I think you should have an issue with having children with somebody that you're not married to, haven't been together with that long, and who hasn't shown to date that he's going to be a good father. I think you should have an issue with that. I think all women should, because that's the biggest, baddest, deepest thing we do, and you can't do it on a humble. You behave like you're in, in, in junior high school. You don't seem to really care about it. Is it all that weed you're smoking? If I don't smoke, it seems like, I don't like to get boring, you know? Dreadful. You know, like I, so with that, without pot, you're not happy? Not while I'm in the house with her. Ms. Quesada, I want you to tell me about Mr. Rodriguez's property of tattoo. Okay, so um, there was a day that he was sleeping and I decided to go through his phone. Mm -hmm. um, prior to that, I had already gone through his phone and found other stuff. Mm -hmm. But that day, um, I found him, this girl told him, hey, I'm gonna get a little tattoo or something, and Greg's response to that was, I'm gonna get a tattoo on my heart that says property of question mark, question mark, question mark. And I had already, I knew who that woman was already because I was following the text that he was texting and I know that he met her while he was running and I know exactly who she is, you know? I decided to go on social media and I messaged her with my social media and let her know that he had a woman and he had a family and that he wasn't single. And um, she got upset and she told me she was in a home wrecker and she, that I was treating her like a mistress. So then again, I go on Greg's social media and I see the messages between her and him. So she's upset and telling Greg, you know, that he's a liar and he has a woman. And this is the girl that I was talking to before, like, while we were separated. No, that wasn't while they were separated, while we were separated. It was you, now. After you were back together. Yeah. 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 Did that, did the relationship that you began when you weren't together continue after you got back together? What happened was, um, we ended up getting back together. Um, so I did start cutting that girl off. You know, I didn't cut her off completely, but I, I stopped calling her. So, um. Don't you just man up, call the woman and say, look, I'm back with exactly. my baby's mother. I mean, instead of just letting it happen, letting her wander and, and beg and all her. that kind of stuff. He no, begged no, no, her. hang on, Mr. Rodriguez, explain that to because me. Because our relationship wasn't going 
like we were just going through boxes and stuff, you know. And um, so you were keeping her on the back burner. You didn't want to turn it off all together. You were just going to keep her simmering back that's there for backup. For backup. For backup. For backup. Exactly. You know? I, I that's why. That's why our relationship was busy you know, in the Mr. first Rodney, place. Because you're a trifling dude. You really are. <laughs> you know what I mean? You you, you behave like you're in, in in junior high school. You don't seem to really care about it. Well, Is it care. all that weed you're smoking? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you smoke a lot of weed, though, right? I do, but that's because we live together. Like we don't. If I don't smoke. It seems like. I know life gets boring, you know? Dreadful. <laughs> so with that, without pot, you're not happy? Not while I'm in the house with her. <laughs> What's so bad about being in the house with her? She starts like, you know, because I, I got her blocked on my phone. Like, because now she'll be on it, she goes through it. <clears throat> um, I, I'm not allowed to have any, any lady friends because um, she scares them away. Don't you think you've earned some distrust as a function of the things that you've done in the past. But like, I don't really do anything while I'm with her. You know, like we're in a couple, so like I'm not sticking with other women. I just talk to them. You know, I just, I like, I like to be hit on. You know, I like to like the attention. You, and I understand that. Again, you know, that's some junior high nonsense. If you're a grown man and you're comfortable with who you are and comfortable in your own skin, you don't need a whole bunch of women telling you you're cute yeah. well, in order to feel good about yourself. What it was, like, yourself. my self-esteem was really low because I used to be heavier. And um, I started running, I started But you're in not work. now. You're a father. Yes. This is what I got to tell women. Don't just get all involved with the dude. You, you know, you go out with them, you, you spend a little time, you go to their families, you find out what's happening over there, you just watch them. You just watch them. You know what I mean? And then you get a little close to them and you watch them some more. <laughs> And then you and, and, and then you and you you can take them home and if they're okay with that, you know, get engaged and then watch him. <laughs> and then after you get engaged, if he does all right, you can marry him. But, watch but him. still watch him. <laughs> <laughs> then and only then, if he comes correct after all of that time, do you engage in making new people. Do you understand what I'm saying? When I try to kiss Greg, Greg always pushes his face away from me. Is that a frequent event? It, it happens a lot, yes. Because she's like, she's very aggressive. Sometimes she like just jumps on me and she like overpowers me. And you know, after a while, I gotta like just give into it, right? You know? Really? <laughs> Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Cazada, why don't you tell me what you believe his pot smoking, how you believe his pot smoking has affected your relationship? There's one situation where we went to the doctor and we, we always take the baby to the doctor together. Mm -hmm. But this one time I took, um, I was doing something else, so they called him before they before I was able to come back to the mm -hmm. to the waiting room. And so I go in, I meet him in there, and he tells me, "Oh, the the nurse came in and asked me for the baby's birth birthday. Is it blah blah blah?" And I was like, "No, you're like way off. Like, like he doesn't even know our kid's birthday." Do you think that's because he's just smoking too yeah. much weed? He's just high all the time. Yeah, he does things yeah. like that. Killing all your time. brain cells. Like I, I do Are forget. Are you confused? Like, my, my memory, it is a little off. Like sometimes, like I don't even know my birthday. I do not believe you can be as silly as you are presenting yourself here today. I, I don't think you could be quite that bizarre. Is he that ridiculous <laughs> in general in life? Yes. He doesn't know his own birthday. I'm sure he does. I do. But I'm like, sure I, he does. Because I change it because I'm older now, so. You change it because you're older. Explain that to me. Well, like um, I just turned 31, so like um, so sometimes I gotta change my birthday. You know, depends who I'm talking to. Why would you need to change your birthday? Because <laughs> he feels too old. He feels like he's getting old, and he wants to stay young. 
So you lie about your yes, age, like then you pretend like you're younger than you are? Because yeah. he looks younger, but and people fall for it, but he's not that age. I mean, for what? For what purpose? For do you do reasons? <laughs> for what purpose, really? I'm just, I guess mm -hmm. I'm hitting thirty, so I'm, I'm being dirty. <laughs> You know, Being 13, <laughs> that's about it. I would believe, based upon your actions, 13. Can you tell me what your primary concern with Ms. Quesada is? Um, she's very possessive. Like, I can't really go out, like, to go run, because she thinks I'm having sex with other women, because I'm sweating. And it's only, like, because I'm just running, you know? There are times where she acts like a vampire, and she just, like, bites my neck, and, and like, she's just leave me hickey. Like, I'm 31, like, I don't want to have hickeys on oh, me. Oh, he's 31. And, um... What, is she trying to brand you so other women won't, yeah, won't mess like, with you? Yeah, she, like, marks me like a fire hydrant, you know? <laughs> you know? So okay, I, I did that one time. I did it one time where it was aggressive, and mm -hmm. I did do a hickey on him, and it was really aggressive because when I try to kiss Greg, Greg always pushes his face away from me. Is that a frequent event? It, it happens a lot, yes. Because she, like, she's very aggressive. Sometimes she, like, just jumped on me, and she, like, overpowers me, and, like, you know, after a while, I gotta, like, just give in to her, right, you know? Really? <laughs> wow. wow. I'm Most sorry. guys complain Most guys that they don't, don't like get that. enough, and they yeah, like, would enjoy I, it for their I don't mind, like, under, like, you know, below, below the neck, but she wants them, like, right here, like, and... Like. Most guys would say they're lucky to have a girl like that, that likes to have intimacy with him. We do have in intimacy. Do you think it's too much? Or you mm -hmm. just don't like the marking? The marking? Well, she wants to have sex, like, twice a day, you know, and that's But like... I don't. She does. I'm lucky, I'm lucky huh? if I get it twice a week. No. I'm lucky if I like get it twice every a day. week. If I don't, she, like, <laughs> give me the guilt trip. She, like, accuses me I'm sleeping with other women because I'm not sleeping with her. Court's in session. Do you come in, take off your clothes, and then say, uh-uh? I do, Your Honor. If you want to touch something, go touch some dishes in there, OK? They got some grease. He's keeping you from getting any action, huh? I thought maybe if I get a girl dog for a guy dog, I could get my girl back and my bed back. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. On behalf of your 10-month-old, I would like to say the following. You need to grow up. I mean, seriously, you just need to take some time, sit down somewhere, and realize that life isn't about you anymore. It's about your kids first, your relationship second, and you third. If you're not willing to put yourself third like that, your, your kids don't have a chance because they always have to be more important than your weed smoking, than your little girlfriends telling you that you're cute and you going around talking about you in your 20s when you're in your 30s. <laughs> All of that is just nonsense and silly. And, and children need adults to raise them, not other children. And to be 31 and engaging in that kind of conduct is absurd. And the other thing I want to say is, to the extent that you need ancillary babes, random chicks, telling you something to make yourself feel good about yourself, you're damaging her self-esteem. And when you damage her self-esteem, you are damaging the base of operations for your children. If you make her feel less than, less than, less than all of the time, she will be less than, less than, less than, and your children will be raised by less than. You don't want that, do you? No. Do a better job. And Ms. Quesada, you probably get hot a lot, I know. Aren't you? Anger doesn't work. What works is calm and expectation. And you demand respect by the way you carry yourself, not by how many words you can throw in his direction. He's a little boy. You picked him, now you got him. <laughs> but what you have to do is raise your game and require him to raise his as well if your kids are like, are gonna have any shot at all at rational and reasonable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't yeah. have no more chilling until you get it together. Okay. Yeah, till he's a grown man. You got me? Yes. This matter is adjourned. <laughs> if you keep messing with someone who keeps messing up, you can't blame anybody but yourself for the mess you find yourself in. Submit your case at divorcecourt.com. <laughs>